at the Dart Zone booth at the Chicago Fan Expo. Dart Zone's here, they have a ton of blasters, so kind of mill about, see what's happening. I just saw a Master Roshi. Uh, <laughs> there's so many things happening here, but we're gonna focus in on the Dart Zone stuff and take a look at some of their new blasters, stuff that's just come out, maybe you haven't even seen yet. So stay tuned, let's see what's going on. Fan Expo Chicago used to be under a different name. It was called Wizard World. But this event in particular hosts about 75 plus thousand attendees that can see actors, voice actors, artists, cartoonists, and attend panels. People dress up in cosplay, they visit booths, and there's just a lot of stuff there. Anything pop culture you can imagine is there, and Dart Zone is also. So let's go talk to them. We're here with Derek from Dart Zone. He's the guy, man in this whole booth. He's telling everybody where to go and ducking when darts are incoming. That's so right. thanks for having me out to begin with. Absolutely. Tell us why Dart Zone? Why is Dart Zone at the uh, Fan Expo Chicago? So um, we really want to show people that we have a great product and the only way to do that is let people play with it, get them in people's hands. Um, as you can see here, we have tons of people lining up. They grab the uh, blasters and get them tested out. We make sure everything's safe. Uh, and we also sell them at the show here, so uh, we just want to give a people a great experience. We've got a lot of products here. Yeah, you can show me some new stuff too. That's right. So, what is your favorite blaster on the table? You got to make a choice in three, two, one. What is it? Off the top so of your I head. have to give two answers. Okay, <laughs> you can't have a favorite. So the Omnia is the best flywheel on the market. You can't argue. Seven darts a second, 150 feet per second. Comes with everything you need out of the box. You can't beat it. But then the second one is the Springer, right? You gotta have a Springer, you gotta have a flywheel. It's this little guy, the Solo. Holds up, you can fit it in your back pocket. 10 darts, 15 bucks, you can't So, do the pair, you're out the door at 100 bucks, you get the best two blasters on the market. All right, well Derek, I think we got Sailor Moon trying to get in and try yeah. some blasters, so thank you so much for having me Absolutely. out here. Absolutely. And uh, we'll be, we'll be uh, milling about and taking some more pictures. That's Absolutely. all right. Yeah, yeah, have some fun. <laughs> all right, thanks. So I'm here with Dart Sweep. Tell me what you got here. So uh, I am here with uh, the Dart Zone booth here at Fan Expo Chicago, and we're just demoing off some of our blasters that we have available for the uh, con this weekend. Uh, we got the uh, Dart Zone uh, Solo, uh, the Dart Zone Mark II in orange, uh, we have the Dart Zone Mark III, uh, and the Dart Zone Pro Omnia, uh, and of course, this is the precursor to this. The big boy, is live. the Mark IV. Uh, we're having a great time here and uh, super excited to uh, have Bride by here joining us. Appreciate it. What's your favorite on the table right here? You got to make a choice right now. Go. So I got to be honest, my favorite on the uh, table right here is the Mark III because of the platform and uh, potential for modability between upgrading motors, uh, upgrading rate of fire, all the 3D printed kits that are available for it. Not only does it run off of eight double A's, but it's, uh, it's also 3S life already. So it's, uh, it's definitely a powerhouse uh, and it's a great platform to start with, especially if you're just getting into it, uh, but you want to be able to compete. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for having me out. We appreciate you. If you've been on Instagram for any length of time, you know who this guy is. This is Al the Geek. He comes up with some incredible custom work for blasters here. Can you show us what you've got? Sure, buddy. So again, my name is Al the Geek. What do I do? I take standard map dart blasters, and these are the crazy things I do. So for example, what we have here, since we are at a dart zone booth, today's actually uh, everything's going to be dart zone. We have a dart zone Omnia. Somebody wanted me to make it out into a whole Borderlands theme. We have the new Venoms. Of course, I had to paint them up. So we got a metallic blue pink. Some people ask me, ask me, why are you going to make it pink? Because pink looks good. I look in pink. Of course it's going to be pink. <laughs> Never mind, we got the Nexus X. We have the Tomcat. Face masks that I always do, man. Again, just because I do a lot of conventions, so we're a lot of cosplay heavy as well. And they all match. And you know what? You're going to have a Nerf War. you got to have eye protection. And then also the Striker 2.0. I love this. Isn't that fun? See, man? I haven't even used one of these yet. There you go, I've got to put this down here. Oh, this is beautiful. Just look at that thing. Ooh, it's got that fresh paint smell too. I love that. Just finished this week. It's like I had a convention to go to or something. <laughs> oh, that is a good look on that. Here's now, the other best part about Dark Zone. Notice on here, that's actually not a full scope. That is a real scope on it. Real big any rail. So you can actually put anything you want on it. Never mind adjustable stock and a buffer too. So for all those people that think paintball or uh, airsoft is better, you can also, same things you have there, you can put them on your uh, Dark Zone. Ball. All right. 
What is your absolute favorite one that you've done recently? You got to choose right now. This one. It's the Nexus X. 200 FPS. Comes with two different springs. Super accurate. When you're at a Nerf war and you see guys with modded blasters putting them down and they're picking up their Nexus X and finishing the day with it, it tells you everything. Man. Still looks good, still looks futuristic, but at the same time not too real, which is my whole thing, which is I kind of love. Yeah. Go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, I love that. Beautiful. Yes. I love the Nexus X too. This is this is one of my favorites so far this year, performance-wise. Such a good blast, and I love the lines of it too. And you accentuate that very nicely with some of the weathering, some of the scuff marks that you put on here. Thanks, man. All right, Al. Thank you so much for having me out. You have some amazing things here. And if people want to check you out, where do they go? Best way to find me is on my Etsy store, Etsy.com/shop/AlTheGeek. Otherwise, Facebook and TikTok. That's where you find me. Or conventions, man. <laughs> We're at the Chicago Fan Expo. Thanks. Thanks, brother. So right here is one of 30. This is a Dart Zone Pro Mark IV. If you want to come in and get a closer look at this thing, it is a metallic surface on the blaster here. One of 30 exists in the world. From what I've been told, there will be no more of this thing. So uh, this is a pretty cool thing to see here. And uh, they won't let me fire it. That's OK. I won't hold it against them. but. So Dart Zone hooked me up with a bunch of different blasters. I've got the Maxim, I've got the Desperado, as well as the Lancer. So it was extremely nice of them to not only give me a whole box of stuff, but walk me out with it. I did get some footage of the blasters. They are in vertical video format. So if you haven't already seen them on shorts, definitely be sure to take a look at those. But you know, for interest of seeing these blasters in action, here they are. We're going to be firing the Adventure Force Maxim. This is a brand new blaster. There's a couple things I really like about it, and you will be able to see uh, exactly what I like about it because it's got a translucent shell, which I love no matter what. So we got some darts in this thing. Ooh. Now here's another thing I just noticed about this is that the rev trigger on this is on the back of the grip. So when I grip it, it's going to rev up. It's going to give us uh, a different way to rev these blasters. That feels really good. And you can see just how everything's working. So I just saw the wheels spin down there. And just like every other Dart Zone blaster, it has this stock attachment point. It also has the buffer tube as well and all of the Picatinny style rails that we have known and grown accustomed to so much. So I'm gonna be unboxing a blaster here at Chicago Fan Expo. I think this is a first. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get out the Lancer here from Adventure Force by way of Dart Zone. We're here at the Dart Zone booth. So let's get this free from its packaging. That was easy enough. So we got some darts over here. Pull back on the lever. And we're gonna fire this thing. Woo! That's the Lancer. All right, so we have the brand new Adventure Force Desperado, and uh, this is an interesting blaster because there is no prime on it. It's you squeeze this big giant oversized trigger that fires, indexes, uses full length darts, the waffle head darts, and uh, let's see. I think this is going to work out for us. Ready? Here we go. I like that single action on the blaster. It just gives it a nice feel. And it's something different, something unique. A little bit of a gimmick. Always love a good gimmick. So in the future, be on the lookout for the Maxim Pro, the Desperado. This one was surprising in all the good ways. Also, the Lancer. We will take a look at each of these blasters individually in separate videos. So as we wrap up, thank you to everybody at Dart Zone for inviting me over to the convention, giving me a great look at the booth, a look at all of their products. And one of the things that struck me amongst the convention floor is that the Dart Zone booth was extremely active. Never been to one of these conventions before, so what I was surprised at is just like how much stuff there is to buy. And contrast like all the artworks and stuff like that, which you can see, you can't necessarily touch that unless you buy it. Whereas the Dart Zone Blasters 
they had a whole booth that was ready to demo products, which was just a lot of fun. So that's everything I know about the Dart Zone Blasters at the Fan Expo Chicago. Thank you so much for going on this tour with me. If you have any questions about the blasters that I saw there, or specifically some of the new stuff that I have access to now, leave it in the comment section. And if you are somebody who likes blasters, if you're somebody who likes toys that move, that have all kinds of action, you're in the right place, so you should really subscribe to this channel for future videos, not only on blasters, but on action figures, collectibles, pop culture, stuff like that, too. Uh, it was really eye-opening to go to one of these conventions and see everything there was to see there. A lot of the pageantry with the cosplay was really exciting. But I think that's it. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.